Hey guys, welcome to another Chalking with Bridget episode. So today, you guys are watching the replay. Um, we're getting ready to start doing this project live. But do you remember those boards you guys saw me working on last week? I finished them. They are ready to go. So in case you missed the process, we're going to go over it in the video of exactly what I did. But today we're going to take this finished board and we are going to do a super cute farmhouse on it. Um, so make sure you stick around. Give me just a minute. I'm going to make sure that we're broadcasting. So if you're watching the replay, you might want to fast forward just a couple minutes till we get going with the project. When you guys pop on, make sure you say hello. If you're watching the replay, you can click hashtag replay. Um, that way I know you saw it. So I am really excited about this one. I've been dying to use these. I bought all these boards, so I'm really excited to use them. And I'm a hot mess today, y'all. I didn't realize I was looking that rough. Oh, it's Sunday. I'm exhausted. After this, I am going up to watch all my TV shows. I'm taking a little break tonight. And I've been put into Facebook jail. I don't know if you guys even know what that is. Where they um, stop me from posting in groups unless they're mine. Which I don't really post in other groups any than myself anyway. So... I'm not sure. Yeah, it won't let me post anything. Okay, let's see if I can share on my timeline. Maybe not. You guys might have to share this. So if you guys are watching, will you share it in my customer group and talking with Bridget if you're a member? I'm trying to share and Facebook will not let me share anything. Yeah, you're restricted from sharing posts until August 23rd. That is ridiculous. Ah, okay, I need help, guys. Help, 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 help. If you guys could share this for me, that would be awesome. So we're going to have to get started unless, like, for some reason, not everybody on my business page sees it. When I share it into my customer group and get it going on my timeline, then I usually get, you know, 15, 20 people on here. So make sure you guys say hello. If you could share, that would be awesome. But we are going to get started. So, I am talking with Bridget, in case you're new. We are, um, basically, I teach you guys how to use beautiful DIY stencils, chalk paste to beautify your home, do all kinds of really fun projects, um, and we do them on all kinds of surfaces. We have chalkboards. Um, you can see behind me, I've done pillows. I've got onesies. We can do ink. So there's so many options. Today we're doing a board. So if you guys look back, if you remember, if you've been following last week, I came home last week with a whole bunch of ugly boards that looked like this. They're awful looking. So what I did was I took them and I sanded them, right, with a hand sander. You could just use a sanding block. And then I stained them. And I got, actually I bought more colored stains today, so I'm excited. Um, but I stained them. All of these are like... I think they're like a chestnut color is the color of this stain. Um, and then after I stained them, I waxed them. So you want to put wax. So now they're finally ready. So there's a little prep work if you're going to use raw wood. Okay. But um, they're beautiful. Like, so we can make, I went to Home Depot today and I bought the five foot boards. So I can make like the welcome signs for your front porch. You guys know those are super hot right now. Um, but that's all you have to do to prep them. So it's ready to go. So this is the first time I'm chalking one. So I'm doing it live. I hope it turns out because I've never done it before. All right, so we're going to do our farmhouse. All right, and then in for the O, we have this. And I've got some really fun ideas we're going to do with this a little bit later as it gets closer to the holidays. I'm not going to blow you guys up with holiday stuff. But let's get started. You guys ready? Make sure you say hi. Let me know that you're here. Um, I have my paste already. So like I said, we have our surface. Um, this is going to be our wood. So we are going to make sure that we fuzz. Now I waxed it. It should be good. You definitely want to make sure you're waxing your wood surfaces because um, you can get particles on your stencils. You want to protect them because remember, you can use your stencils over and over and over again. There's a gazillion different uses for these. All right. And I don't have any fingernails. So I'm like, I haven't used this stencil before. I am going to peel it off. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is fuzz. If you're new and you don't know what fuzzing is, basically our stencils are super sticky, right? So if I put that stencil directly onto my wood or any hard flat surface like chalkboard, 
it's gonna stick and it's gonna be hard to pull up. So when I pull it up from a sticky surface like that, it will stretch the stencil and we don't want that. So I'm fuzzing. What I'm doing is basically I'm getting the back of this dirty so it's not as sticky. All right, so no, it's not gonna ruin the transfer. <laughs> Man, farmhouse. Farmhouse decor is huge right now, guys. Like, people, farmhouse is, like, insane. Everywhere you go, it's, like, farms and chickens and, like, yeah. So, I'm excited about this. And I got letters so I can do custom stuff for y'all now, too. How exciting. All right. So, see how it gets, like, it picks up a little bit of the particles? I'll show you. Can you see it kind of gets a little bit of the particles on there? That is what's going on. That's what we mean by fuzzing. So this board is just long enough. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Oh, Le two Lisas are here. Lisa Reed and Lisa Gruber. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I am up to trouble, causing trouble <laughs> on Sunday night. So I am gonna put this over as far as I can. I'm gonna try to center it um, because it's a pretty big O that we're gonna be putting on here. I've been going crazy with this stuff lately. Okay. Is that straight? I think it's a little bit crooked. Let's kind of try to straighten it up a little. So I'm making sure that it's straight and I'm making sure that there's no air bubbles because that's what gives us the details, right? All right, so here we've got our farm H. <laughs> and then for the O, we're gonna triple layer and do this wreath. And then we're gonna do, so imagine the H, the O is gonna go like right here. So this is how it's gonna be, farmhouse. It's gonna be really cute when we're done. So we are gonna do the farm H first. And we're gonna use white chalk paint for that. So I've already got all my paints ready to go. This is gonna be a quick one tonight, guys. I'm tired. I have been like working so much. I'm working part time while I'm building my business, and um, so I've been working a lot of hours this week. Oh, okay. So I have the white all ready to go. So you guys know how this works. We just take our paste. I'm nervous. It's so exciting to put it on a new surface. I hope it turns out all right. If not, we're gonna be in trouble, huh? The biggest thing is making sure that you're um, treating your wood. Oh, I, before, so I, this is the steps that I did. So after I sanded it, then I stained it, then I put a sealer on there, um, like a sealant coat, and then I waxed it. So it's kind of like a four-step process to prep these boards. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I am literally just putting the white on here and spreading it out. Now we gotta go quick because if this dries, it'll start cracking and it's already starting to dry because it's it's not that wet of a paste. We wanna make sure that it's wet when we pull it back up. So I am scraping the excess over squeegee in it how are you guys doing tonight did y'all have a good weekend anybody have anything fun going on i worked all weekend that was my fun i'm going to see my boys next weekend y'all know who that is my zach brown concert that's all i ever listened to <laughs> okay all right so here's our farm h I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Oh, we got a lot of people on. Make sure you guys say hello. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. This is what's so exciting. Like, this is, look at, I don't know, it's flipped backwards. Look how pretty that turned out. That white just pops on that stain. So we have to do the O next. I'm so excited about this, y'all. Let's turn it out. All right. Let's do our O. I'm gonna put the lid back on the white so it doesn't dry. Make sure you guys say hello when you pop on. And if you guys would like share this, it'd be awesome. I'm still in Facebook jail. I know, I don't understand. I can't post and I can't share my videos to my groups, which I think is ridiculous. I wanna make sure this is dry before I 
do this. Yeah, I can't share anything. I can't share it to my timeline. And since my business page is limited because they shut down my business, Facebook's giving me a run for my money lately. All right, so we are twisted. Hold on. I tried to have this all done so y'all didn't get any, like, weird poses, but I guess you still are. <laughs> Seems like every live my butt ends up in the camera. All right, ready? Let's blow dry this. We're just going to dry it. dry already. That was fast. That was super fast. Hey Emily, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. And we got a lot of people popping on on Sunday night. Emily said, if you have an iPhone, you can do the drop down with the Bluetooth Wi-Fi and do screen mirroring. I tried that. So I did that. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I tried it earlier and it wouldn't do it. Let me, I have it on now. It won't flip like I'm pushing it and it usually does that's what's so weird um, I don't know why maybe it was the update but yeah it, it won't flip I don't know why <laughs> I don't know my phone's being weird I guess but yeah I know exactly what you're talking about but I don't know all right well but you you guys know what farmhouse looks like right <laughs> Alright, so I'm fuzzing, 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 fuzzing. I'm gonna do some more pillows. Y'all, I'm getting a lot of people liking my pillows. See my pillows behind me? Loving it. Oh, and I didn't, y'all didn't even see my creation for the, um, I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, let's do the O. Now we gotta leave room because we are gonna have to do three layers on our O. Well, that's just sneezy. I was trying to be all smart and stuff. You did good, girl. Somebody had to tell me that, though, because I did not know that. Like, um, somebody actually told me about that a while back. I didn't have a clue. It's all good. I'm making sure I'm leaving enough room. All right, so my... Whew, this is, like, cutting it tight. If this board was, like, a half an inch bigger... I got to make sure we have, we're going to have just enough, I think. The spacing might be a little weird. All right. I almost feel like we should do the house part. I know it sounds backwards, but just because of space, I'm going to go ahead and do, we're going to do the O last. That way I can center it. Because I'm, I'm worried this board isn't long enough. Now, I did not have these boards cut. I got these, I got piles of these. I'm fuzzing this one. Um, so they're not cut to specific lengths, but you can go, actually I did this today, I was so excited. Um, I went to Home Depot by myself, like a big girl. <laughs> I was so intimidated, y'all, like it was scary going into Home Depot. But I bought some wood boards, like eight foot boards, and I put them in the cart by myself, and I took them over to the um, wood cutter, and I had them cut the boards, I was so excited. So the boards are cut and I got some new stains. So, But you can have boards cut to any size, which I did not know. So if there's a certain project that you wanna do, um, you can absolutely do that at Home Depot. And Lowe's probably does it too. But yeah, I was super excited. Now let's, let's hope this is lined up. Cause y'all know how I don't like to put tape on things. Oh, is that straight? Hold on. I think it needs to be up just a smidge. I should have marked this stuff. I need to get better at that. That is where I struggle, is making sure that stuff is even. I'm terrible about that. This would have been cute, too, with, like, a cute background on it. Like, if I would have done, like, buffalo plaid. I love buffalo plaid, just so y'all know. Okay, we're gonna be right on the edge. Living on the edge. Now I think it's too high. Like, see? Let's just try this. 
it needs to come down a smidge. So it needs to come down and it needs to be right on the edge. I think this is the hardest part. It's lining it up. It's not putting the transfers on. That's the easy part. <laughs> My makeshift uh, ruler. I think that's pretty, pretty even. A lot better than it was. I think that's good. We're going to go with it. All right. So let's do this part. Our E is going to be like right there. And then we'll work on the O, because that's going to be a couple different layers. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. Happy Sunday. Sunday, fun day. It's craft day. Actually, I've been working all day. So tomorrow night, I'm not going live. I'm going to, well, I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm going live. I'm going skating. Roller skating. <laughs> yes, roller skating. So, like. I'm not going to give away my age, but roller skating used to be like the happening thing. And uh, me and my partner in crime, my bestie, we used to go to the skating rink together. We grew up at the skating rink. We both competed at the rink. Like that was our thing. So tomorrow night they're having 18 and over adult skating. It's all jive skating. So um, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. So if y'all don't see me for a couple days, it's because I'm in the hospital. So <laughs> make sure y'all check on me. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. I still got it in me. I can still I can still jive skate. I'm excited. I have a lot of my friends that follow me on here that used to go skating with me. So y'all should come tomorrow night. All right. So we are doing our house. U.S.E. All right, I think we got it pretty good. You guys are super quiet tonight. Okay. Oh gosh, this is gonna be cute. Cute, cute, cute. So we have just enough room to put our O in the middle. You know what else we can do? We have these little chalk chips. This would actually <laughs> fit. I could actually do this right now, fit perfectly in here. And we could put a transfer. Yeah, that's what we should do. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. I could put like a little nail in there. And we can put our chalk chips on there. And then we can put different um, different things on there. I wonder if that'll fit. It will. Let's do that, guys. Okay, we're going to do something fun. I know. I know. I'm always changing things. Like I say, I'm going to do one thing. That's where the creativity comes in. Okay, so I'm going to have to have a nail or something, but we can definitely do that. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'll show you. All right, so let's do it on our little black. You know what we could do is we could put this here, and then we could also do a nail. That's what we'll do. We'll do it on here first. I know you guys think I'm crazy. Just wait. You'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. Should have made sure my U was dry. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do this one in black. These are the branches. And the only reason I'm doing it black is because I don't feel like the brown is going to show up on this stain because it's so dark. So if you were using a lighter stain or if we were doing this like on a chalkboard, we could use the brown. But uh, I just feel like black is going to look better. You'll be able to see the branches. It doesn't take a whole lot. Okay. So you'll be you'll start to see this come together. So we have our little right, see the little black in the middle there? Alright, so I gotta blow dry so we can put on another layer. So just a sec. You guys are
we're gonna do the next layer in green. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Those of you watching the replay, y'all could share too. You know why? Because I could not share into my customer group. So it's kind of quiet in here. And it will be until the 23rd. Which is that? What is that? Like Wednesday? I can't share the groups. That's awful. We're making do. It's okay. All right. So now we're going to do the second layer. Hmm. This should be interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let me line this up. Yeah, huh. interesting. Hmm. So it has to go like here somewhere. It's gotta go like right in the middle. This is weird. Let's try it this way. Oh, maybe I had it upside down. Let's try to line it up. sure mm, if we put it right in the center it doesn't like fit hello hello how are y'all doing this evening all right we're just <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it okay it doesn't fit right let's try one more time hey man oh who's that Armando and Norma, hello, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. We're trying to work on our farmhouse sign. I know you can't really see it, but I'm making the wreath in the center for the O. So I'm trying to line it up. And um, I am like artistically challenged. You guys are at 90% of you guys are crafters. Like it's crazy, you guys are so talented. And then there's me, y'all probably laugh, like that crazy girl. We're just gonna go with it. I don't know what else to do. Let's see. If we put it this way, we're not gonna have, it's not gonna be on the wreath. Hmm. We're just gonna go with it. I don't know. It's gonna be green leaves. Okay. Right, let's keep moving with our green. Hopefully it'll look all right when we're done. I think it'll be fine. We're gonna put red berries on it too. All right, so making sure that's flat and our layers are dry. And if this is the wood. If you guys saw all my postings this week from the wood that I got, that's what, um, that's what all this is was the wood that I spent all week prepping. And I still have piles and piles of it. I was gonna do some more today, but it was like 100 degrees. And I was like, no, I don't think I wanna work outside in the heat, so. But I've been preparing these boards. I think these are gonna, this is gonna look really nice. Like, I'm so excited. I bought even more stains for the boards. I got like a teal color stain and a pink, cause y'all know I like my tropical stuff. All right, here's our green. Oh, that's pretty. See, and you can see the black through it. That's why I went with the black on here instead of the brown. And we're gonna do um, the shimmer red on top. All right, so this is where we're at. This is turning out really nice, y'all. Love farmhouse. Loving it, we're almost done. We're gonna blow dry and then we're gonna do our berries, like our little red berries on top. This is gonna be really cute. 
I wish I had a farmhouse. I live in the country, but we don't have a farmhouse. <laughs> well I was wondering how it would do on this wood all right last layer let's do these I'm excited this is turning out so nice I wasn't sure do you just use Shelly said do you use a regular hair dryer yeah that's all this is this is a super max by con air <laughs> like it's just the old blow dryer my good one is upstairs I got a lot of hair <laughs> so yeah just any blow dryer you can use a craft dryer too if you have one, some people have craft dryers. See, look, it didn't even tell me you were watching. This is crazy. This, Facebook is going nuts right now. Like, I can't even tell how many people are on here. Like, it'll tell me nobody's watching, and then I'll get questions. And I'm like, which is fine. Keep the questions coming. I love when y'all ask questions. But, yeah, I just use a regular blow dryer. And if you don't have a dryer, it dries on its own in three to five minutes. So you can just let it sit and it'll dry. I'm just speeding up the process because I'm doing layers. It's really important when you're doing layers to make sure that it's dry because you'll end up pulling up the bottom layer. And you also want to make sure that you're fuzzing really good when you're doing layers because you don't want it pulling up that first layer. I've learned that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Go watch. Go back and watch some of my first videos where I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so last layer is gonna be these little berry things, and I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to how these go. So we're just gonna make them, make them work. And I'm picking out the shimmer red. She said, okay, awesome. I'm planning to do the sample kit soon that I won from you a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh, get it out, do it right now. That's all you got, just pull it out and do it right now. It'll take you like two minutes, seriously. And you're gonna be hooked. You're gonna and you're gonna be chalking everything. You can chalk your windows too. I don't know what I don't know what transfer you got because they were random. But like if you like it, you can chalk your windows. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, do your little sample kit. And um, you got one of these little chalk chips in your sample kit, so you could actually take whatever your um, emblem is that you got and you could use it on the farmhouse and like switch it out. <laughs> Like you could do like a pumpkin for Halloween. Like there's so many, so many things you can do. And make sure with your sample kit, you got a squeegee. Don't throw your squeegee out, okay? Because um, you can reuse it. Those are the same squeegees that I'm using. You got a mini squeegee in yours, which is what I'm trying to find right now. And all I have are my bigger ones in here now because I already used my mini ones I had open. But the mini ones are awesome. So don't throw it out because you can use it. Hang on to it. All right, let's do our berries. So this is our shimmer. I know the reason this is like this is it got busted during shipping. Um, the cap busted and they sent me a new one, but I can still use the paste. So I'm using it just like this. Okay, let's do our berries. Do, do, do. Okay, oh, this is gonna be pretty. I'm loving this shimmer red for the holidays. This shimmer red is seasonal too. This is one of our in vogue colors, which means it's only here for the season. So it will not be in the next catalog. So I would suggest if you love the shimmer red, grab it. And I don't say that because like, our, this company is growing so fast. Home Office does a really good job making sure that we have stuff available but sometimes they just can't can't keep it in stock so if you guys find stuff that you really like grab it especially with the holidays coming up okay oh my gosh that looks so pretty look at how pretty that turned out i am loving that with the little wreath on there how cute is that now here's the other thing that you can do let me show you guys something since we were talking about sample kits, let me put that away. And 
Oh, we still have to do our little dove. Hold on, we're not done. We still have the dove. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this chip with your farmhouse transfer. All right, let's do the dove. We're gonna put the dove on the wreath. We're gonna have to do a white dove. I'm thinking the dove should be white. This is so pretty. I really like this one. I wasn't sure. Like I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I really do. This would be really cute, like over your front door if you live in the country, even if you have like a farmhouse decor. Mm, that's still a little damp. Let me dry it a little bit more. Put our little dove. We could put them in the middle. She said, This is the one I got. Which one is it? I can't see it. <laughs> Did you put? Oh, you know what? If you posted a picture in the comments, I can't see it when I'm live, but I'll look at it. I wonder if I can see it from my computer. Hold on, let me look. Because I have my computer up. Let's see. Um, comments. Oh, sun flea. I can see it on the computer. Oh yeah, that one's super cute. You can put that on your window or your bathroom mirror. <laughs> I like those. I got more in too. Look at these. So the one that you got was from our summer kit. So now we have the Halloween ones. So it's the same size as the one that you have. So what you could do is like take a pumpkin and put it on here and then put it over your O and you can have a pumpkin like and we can switch it out for the seasons. Like super cute. We're gonna do that as a project. Um, I'm not sure when. I'm trying to get a list of projects together to do online workshops. I'm doing in-home workshops at my house once a month right now. Um, the next one is coming up on the 27th of this month. Uh, but I'm trying to start doing online workshops so we can hop on like a Zoom, which is like a video. And then we can do the projects together and I can walk you guys through how to do some of that stuff. So keep your eye out for that. And I am doing Facebook parties now. We call them online gatherings. Um, so I am doing those as well, which it's like a one hour session where we do some projects and you get some bundles. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm loving this. Look at this. How, can y'all see that? How adorable is that? Farmhouse, loving it. Okay. So what I was gonna show you guys, let me put this away. I put my weight. I'm gonna be washing squeegees all night. So the other option that we could do is if we wanted to put like a nail in here and we wanted to put a magnet, we can take one of our Halloween trains. And I have all different ones um, over the seasons we get more. I'll show you guys. Um, so I think like we've got snowflakes for in the winter time. This is my personal binder. Um, and then we had these over the summer. So you could do like the vacation ones and you can totally change it out for the seasons. Uh, I think I had, most of the Easter ones I think went out in the sample packs, but we had um, Easter ones as well. And then in the spring you could do flowers. So um, pretty much every holiday you could put a different one on a chalk chip and change out your sign, which I love. So I'm gonna do, go ahead and do one real quick. Just to show you. 
These are cute. Oh my God. How do you decide which one? <laughs> I'm loving these. I need to order some more of these. Where did my scissors go? I got <laughs> too much stuff. Here they are. I got too much stuff out. All right. So we could do, we could do the pumpkin. I don't have the orange open yet. Let's do the little skull. That'll be cute. I'm loving all the Halloween stuff. And I'm not a Halloween person. Like, I don't decorate my house. I mean, my kids are grown. So, like, we haven't done trick-or-treating in I don't know how long. And we live out in the country, so we don't even get trick-or-treaters out here. But I'm like, man. I'm loving all the Halloween stuff. So, we're going to put a little skeleton on there. So, this is like your chalk chip that you got. And don't forget to fuzz it, okay? Because you don't want to pull it out. But we're just going to put it on our little towel. And you can use any towel, like hand towel. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little skeleton on here. He's gonna be cute. We'll call him Bones. <laughs> mm, it's so white. And I've used all my squeegees. <laughs> That's all right, I'll wash them. If you have younger kids, you can make them squeegee washers. <laughs> so I'm just literally going to put it in and scrape it over. There's a gnat in here, and he's trying to get into my chalk. I live in the country, so there's always things flying or crawling. Okay. Here we go. Wipe my finger off. And then you just literally pull it with even pressure so you don't pull it off. And then you get this beautiful little skull. Look how perfect that came out. So that's how they work. They're awesome little sample packs. Then you can wash this off, just run it under water um, and take like, um, you can use like a wipe or a sponge and just clean it off and then make sure you put it back on the shiny side and then you can store it and reuse it. Super easy, super fun. They come out beautiful every time. So we could literally take a nail. So I want, I'm just trying to get you guys to visualize. See? Farmhouse. And now we've turned it in to Halloween. And if we wanted to do something on the back for Christmas, flip it over. And then we've got the Christmas on the back. So there's so many different things that you can do with our little farmhouse. I absolutely love this. This is so, If you have farmhouse decor, you need this. <laughs> I'm telling you. You can put this on any... You can even put this on your window. Like if you have windows, you could do like farmhouse on your window. How cute would that be? But this is the wood sign that I made. Of course, so they look great on chalkboards. You can put this stuff on anything. I'm telling you. I love it. I'm all excited about how this turned out. Super, super nice farmhouse. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to let this dry. Um, and this is fine for indoor use. Now you can, if I wanted to seal this, I could. I could put a sealer on it so it can be outside as well. So that's another option for you guys too. Um, you can put it outside if you put a sealer on it. Whew, loving it. So, well, thanks for tuning in. That's all we had for tonight. We're just doing the one project tonight. Um, I'm trying to line stuff up for this week. Last week, we did a lot of ink last week. Um, but I'm going to get back to doing a little bit more of the chalk with the chalk boards. Uh, we need to do a calendar this week. We have not done the calendar with back to school. That's important. So I can show you guys how to make use our calendar um, with our, we have markers. Did you know that chalk markers that you can use now for the calendar? Um, I have another pillar that I want to make. So I'm really excited about that. Um, hopefully we'll get to do that this week. I'm trying to think what else. I've got stacks of projects over there. Here's one that I made the other day, which I did not do live. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me turn the camera. Can you see it up on the wall? It says Zamly. So I can't sell that, but Zamly, you guys know I'm Zach Brown Band fanatic. Um, and Zamly is the name of our fan club. <laughs> and so um, we're going to a concert Thursday night, and so we do we do donations 
the fan club does donations and we do raffles. So all the money for the raffle goes to Camp Southern Bound, which is um, their charity. And so I made that picture that says Zamley for the raffle. I also made some t-shirts and I'm trying to do, I wanna do a wood board like this. That's why I got a five foot wood board, which I'm gonna do the Zamley vertical. So I'm hoping to get that done this week. So um, I can't sell it. I don't even think I can really like average, cause I'm not making a profit off of it. It's a donation cause it's copyrighted. Like there's all these weird laws. Like you can make your own stuff, you know what I mean? But like I couldn't mass produce something that says like, the one that says Zach Brown Band, because I made that for myself. I can't sell that because it's copyrighted by the band. So that's the only rule, at least for me as a designer, you know, because I work for the company. I don't know what y'all do with the stuff, but... <laughs> um, but anyway, so I was really excited. It turned out really, really nice. I actually got that as a canvas. Um, I bought the canvas and then I put the lettering on it. It turned out really, really pretty. So I'm excited to work with other surfaces. So... All right, well, I'm going to hop off and go clean this stuff up. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, if you're not in my customer group, please make sure you're in there. Type hashtag group, and I will send you the link to make sure that you guys are in there because I post stuff in there that is not on my business page, like when I have specials and bundles and things like that, um, behind-the-scenes things that you're not going to see on my business page. And if you guys want more information about becoming a designer, I have an opportunity group. I'd love to put you in so you can find out more about the business opportunity. So, all right, guys, that's it. I am going to clean up this mess, and then I am going to go watch some Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> so, you guys have a fantastic evening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.